Yeah, it was yesterday. Um, oh, I guess like yeah, it was a normal day, just a pretty eventful afternoon. Um, you know, we were just driving. I was half asleep in the car, and um, I was actually with my cousin um, Samiri Teller, and um, he kind of just saw something uh, that was happening next door, and I, I just kind of looked and I seen uh, like this guy just kind of over this woman, trying to hit her with like the vacuum kind of pole and. Uh, I just saw it, and at the same time, I just jumped out of the car while I was driving and just kind of ran over because I was, I was pretty shocked at the time. Went close, and I told him, like, pushed him away to my cousin and just told him to relax. I uh, just tried to um, calm him down because he was kind of out of it. But, um, you know, he kept saying um, he wanted he wanted a car, he wanted a phone and her money and stuff, and she was just help, screaming, help, help. And I kind of just looked into her eyes and, like, really saw fear. So. I uh, just kind of tried to calm her down and trying to push him away and um, you know I didn't realise there was a baby in the car so uh, as he walked towards the car I told him to like, move away from the car and uh, got closer and just grabbed the baby out, made sure um, he, he, the little man was alright so that was more my concern. Uh, he kind of just said I gotta get my bag and he went to the back of the house and he tried to crack open a, um, uh, I think a beer bottle but um, he, he must have broke it too hard and he just ran off uh, to the back of the house and took off down the street. So that's uh, when we called the police and, you know, they were really, they were really good. Um, you know, they got there like probably three minutes straight after and guard dogs got there um, probably straight after that and they caught him. So, um, you know, I was really happy how, how they responded to it. But uh, my m main concern was the lady and um, the baby, which, uh, you know, they're all good. And, you know, she's, she's escaped with a couple of scratches and bruises, but, you know, it was, a, it was uh, just a frightening ordeal for them, I guess. Yeah, it wasn't too fast, but um, I just, it, it, at the time, um, I wasn't really thinking, you know, like, like I didn't like get injured. Yeah. You know, we got a game on Saturday, but um, no, nah, he was just driving. All, like, lucky he wasn't going too fast, but um, it was more that like I was just like she was on the ground, and um, he had he had the vacuum um, like pole right over, and like you know trying to get a good shot off. So like when I saw that, that's why I just jumped out. I wasn't really thinking for myself, but I like like I said, I'm just happy she's you know she she only copped a couple of bruises and. Um, scratches. Do you feel like a hero? Nah, no way. Man, like, to be honest, man, um, the police are the real hero. Like, they deal with that stuff every day. So, like, for me, just to feel that surreal moment for once, they do that all every day. So, I'm, I'm no hero, man. <laughs> just, you know, anyone would have done the same.